Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Mariana, but you can call me Mary B, and I am so happy to meet you. Y'all, we have another Pennywise haul. This will be my second one for 2023, I believe. I feel like I'm eating my wood, so let me slow down, okay? Anyway, we got another Pennywise haul for you. Well, I've got another Pennywise haul to share with you guys, right? And I have one bag here. I wanted to, I actually did not plan to do a separate video for this. I wanted to, I literally went in Pennywise to pick up two things and then I wanted to put it into my vlog, but that could not happen because it would have made the vlog way too long. So here it is on its own. If you guys are interested, oh wait, hold on. Quick disclaimer, my nails are a hot, hot mess. So don't pay too much attention to them okay don't pay too much attention to them i got to i have to soak them off and then reapply the gel x so yeah anywho thank you guys so much for being here i really appreciate it before you leave this video be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe click that notification bell if you have any comments theories anything just leave it in the comment section down below okay if you guys are interested in seeing what i picked up be sure to keep on watching hello everybody this is your captain <laughs> I went to Pennywise to spend no more than $40. I came out with a bill of $418.40. So let's see what I picked up for $418.40. So first up in its lonesome category, I picked up this Disney Baby BPA Mickey Mouse Tita Blanket for $56.95. Look how cute it is. Look how cute y'all and these are like the perfect teething material to like for the baby's gums to be like when they're biting on it you know when they're teething my niece is gonna be teething soon so and this can be used from zero plus as you guys can see there and hear this hope you guys enjoy that asmr segment <laughs> Anyway, y'all, yeah, this was $56.95. So, I picked that up for my niece, my little cute niece. I also picked up two of these travel bottle sets. It's travel spray bottles. And these are cute. These are cute, okay? L look at them. You get a blue, purple, pink, and a clear one, well, a frosted clear one, and they're for all four of them are different sizes 10 ml 8 ml 5 ml and 3 ml and you can basically put you'll know I'm a traveler so I actually got these not necessarily for ships per se I got them to put in my little handbags <laughs> with hand sanitizer <laughs> yeah cuz I already have perfume automizer oh I can also put body spray in this one as well yes yes so I will have my perfume in the perfume optimizer and the body spray in this little thing great idea Mary so yeah put that as well as the hand sanitizer I mean the main purpose is really for hand sanitizer y'all that, that's why I really bought it so yeah and these were $12.95 each they didn't have any other colors like these were the set packs so I picked up two of them. Now I also picked up this travel soap box. I think this is so cute. I need to take this out of the packaging. This was $4.95. Let me take this out of the packaging because I really want to see what this looks like. These were selling also in packs of two as well as packs of three and packs of four, I believe. No, packs of four, packs of two and packs of one. Yeah, and I, I just wanted to get one to put like my, sometimes, like I use liquid soap for my face, but sometimes I use um, the bar soap, what, what's the Kojak acid soap. And I always have to take it in like a big soap dish, so it'll be cute if I can 
and also the extremely functional space saving if I could have this is difficult to open the wine if I can have a mini um, soap dish to put it in because I usually cut the soap in like small pieces because one piece lasts a long time Yo, what? oh I think it's meant to open like this <laughs> Look how cute that is though. That is so cute, right? Look at that. Y'all, I was... <laughs> what, what, was I, what was I doing? Look how easy the thing is to open. Look at this. Look. It's so easy. And I was like... Oh my gosh. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. But this one matches with my top today. It's so cute. I love it. Yeah, as I said, this was $4.95 for the single pack. I think the double pack, I think I saw it at $8.95 and the pack with four in it was $13.95. I think so. Don't exactly quote me, but it's somewhere around there. More than, I have good memory when it comes to like those type of things. So I mean, more than likely, I saw it and it's now imprinted in my brain, so... More than likely you can take my word for it but if it's not don't take my word for it so for my hair now i like to buy oils that just smells like perfume okay because the oils that i usually put in my hair to actually help my hair grow is oils like i use natural oils like i go to mustafa and i buy the natural oils and those are what i put in my hair but when i want them to smell like perfume I find something in Pennywise most times just to, you know, just to glaze over it. And I remember opening this one and it smelled really nice in the store. Oh. <laughs> Smell. Yo. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. This smells like a sexy man. Look at it. So this is the Imami 7 Oils in 1 Blends for Damage Control. It's cactus plus it has garlic plus rosemary, olive oil, alma oil, coconut oil, and walnut. And they said it's non-greasy, non-sticky. This was $26.95. So this is what it looks like. And how much do you get in it? Oh, 200 ml. Anyway, it smells really good. Y'all, did you guys know that Pennywise is now carrying the ordinary products? Yes, honey, yes. I'm happy to put you on. You can thank me later. And the prices are actually good, okay? The prices are good because I like I've went into a Desium store before. The ordinary is an affordable skincare line, right? I've went into the actual stores already and purchased things, so I know when I convert it. The prices are actually great. So you can't go wrong. That's why I decided to pick them up here and not have to wait until I go to the US again or order on Amazon to get them. It just makes sense to get them at Pennywise at these prices. So First up, I picked up the Ordinary Direct Acids AHA 30% BH plus BHA 2% Peeling Solution. You all know I've used this in the past. This is not my first rodeo. And... Oh well. I was trying to be very aesthetic with that, but it came up fixing me. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. Very good. Actually, I'm gonna use this tonight. See, it looks like blood. Can you guys even see that? Yeah, I'm gonna use this tonight when I take my makeup off. And this was $109.95. I also picked up the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. High Strength Vitamin and Mineral Blemish Formula. Y'all already know what's under this concealer and powder. Y'all already know I've been trying to deal with my scars. They're getting so much better, but I want them to be like at at least 98%. We don't even need to get to the 100, okay? 
I'm settled for 98%. Anyway, this is the box that it came in. Let me take it out and show you guys. And this was $84.95. Let's try that aesthetic thing again. Okay, no. It's not working for me. Okay, let's do it, let's do it this way. Ooh! <laughs> so this is what this one looks like. Now, I am used to using niacinamide and zinc. I've used the ordinary one before. This will be only my second time purchasing this one because after the ordinary one, I used Eva Naturals one. Eva Naturals isn't here, so I just picked up the ordinary one. And this is what the consistency of this one. Y'all, let me tell you guys, when I try to deal with acne scarring, when I tell you that niacinamide and zinc combined really helps, it really, really helps. Now, I quite like the Eva Naturals one more than I like the Ordinary one, but it's like they're around the same price or like the Eva Naturals is like a dollar or two cheaper, but it has like more percentage in the Eva Naturals one. Actually, let me get the buckle and I'll show you guys. So I, I buy these on Amazon, right? But you can also check out the Eva Naturals website directly, but you can get them on Amazon. This has niacinamide 12%, zinc 2%. It also has added hyaluronic acid, vitamin E and aloe in it. And this is what the bottle looks like, right? Now this is the large one that I have here, the two ounces, but you can get them in one ounce as well, just like the ordinary ones. And the ordinary only has 10% niacinamide and 1% zinc. And it doesn't have any added like the hyaluronic acid and the vitamin E. So I quite, my skin, my skin, I'm, I'm a talk for my skin, I'm not talking for me, okay? My skin loves this one, the Eva Naturals one more. But this one is here and I'm not sure if you guys can see what's going on here, but I'm on my last few drops. I can probably use this for like about four more nights and then I have to move on. So yeah, that's that whole rant about serums. This Dead Sea collection. Now I know this collection. It's from, it's Israeli. So like I've never tried this one in particular, but they have nice products. So I wanted to try a vitamin C from them. So I picked up the vitamin C plus collagen facial serum. It is paraben free. It energizes and deeply hydrates, leaving visibly firmer, brighter, dewy complexion. This was $44.95 and you get 50 ml. And this is what the box looks like. Let me take it out of the box and show you guys. I will give you guys an update on this because as I said, I've never used this particular vitamin C serum before. I usually always use the Eva Naturals vitamin C serum as well. So that's the one that I've been using for years. So it's not here. I'm just gonna get what I can get for now until I travel again. Oh, this bottle is nice. Okay. Right, facial serum, vitamin C plus, collagen with dead sea minerals in it this is what the bottle looks like and it's a frosted glass it's very solid which means the product is good it's kept well in there okay plastic bottles with serums and stuff not a good idea it, it like defeats the purpose so oh this is thick not as thick as I usually no vitamin C serums to be, but I mean it. It's probably with the collagen and the Dead Sea minerals in there. Yeah, I'll give you guys an update on this maybe in a vlog, and in an upcoming vlog. Probably I'll use it for a month and see if I see, notice any changes and then I'll let you guys know, well, what my skin thinks of it. Cenabella, you all know I'm addicted to these Cenabellas. They, they're such great prices, $24.95. Great prices and for the amount, it's, it's literally mimicking Victoria's Secret. I said what I said, okay? So you know Victoria's Secret, their vanilla? Well, Sanabella has Paris vanilla. It's practically the same thing. This is the the packaging. It's, it's, oh! 
Well, we can see why Victoria's Secret is more than Santa Bella. <sighs> this is what happens, y'all, when you <laughs> when you go for the cheaper option. But I mean, I'm not using. I'm not using the cover anyway, just to put it back on there. But oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Oh Jesus, this smells so good, so good. So it. They have vanilla Victoria Secret, Paris vanilla Sanabella. Don't say I never helped you out, okay? <laughs> this was $24.95 as opposed to the Victoria Secret and it's the same size and everything. Yo. Yo. Of course, don't get me wrong. I, I still love my Victoria Secret and I still love my Bath and Body Works. I have. But with the way that I bathe in body spray, I just think it makes more sense to sometimes have the cheaper ones as well as the original ones and that way I can pick and choose when I'm where I'm wearing what to like. I'm going to run errands in Arima. Why do I need to use my Victoria's Secrets? I use Santa Bella and then use my perfume on top of that. You get what I'm saying? You catch my drift? Yeah, that's what I mean. Y'all, if anything about my angle changed, it's because my camera decided to overheat. Change the batteries in this. <laughs> Got multiple batteries, and now it still can't handle the amount of filming because it's overheating. Need a new camera. I'm manifesting this in 2023. I'm getting a new camera. Anyway, y'all, we just got a couple more items anyway. So, I also picked up a Voy Pamper Yourself 99% Pure Water Baby Wipes with Pro Vitamin B5 hypoallergenic cottonseed extract it's so many things on in the front of this thing it's sensitive also yeah um i purchased these before and i quite like them they're very pure and like you can feel that they're pure like it it's insane you can actually like when i'm using them i can tell that it is pure that it, it is not there's nothing nothing in there okay and this is what i like so this is what i picked up and this was twelve dollars and 95 cents i'm just looking at it there and i'm saying to myself why the hell didn't i pick up pick up two packs <sighs> anyway because yeah because they hardly have water wipes and pennywise i should have picked up two packs by the way i picked up these things at pennywise arima two glade air fresheners this is the glade spray in hawaiian breeze one of my absolute favorite 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 scents and in clean linen also this one i'm gonna put in the bath no not bathroom i already have a spray for the bathroom this one for the living room this one for the bedroom well the one i have in the bathroom is which one the, the beep that spray is so good so so good anyway y'all um these were both 12.95 each as well that was everything that i picked up from pennywise and then they gave me two free things they just put it in the bag and the lady said these are free just like that I'm like there's always a catch for things being free i don't trust it because people don't just give you free things just like that but at least they're probably expiring so <laughs> Maybe. I don't see an expiry date anywhere. Well, I will find it. But this is the Wish Kills 99.9. .9. The Wish Advanced Hand Sanitizer. I don't know why I feel I need to read everything. Um, With vitamin E in it. I can't tell you how much it was because as I said, it was free. It was a free product. And what did, <laughs> look what they gave me. I wonder when is this expiring? Next month, this this is a, this COVID test is expiring next month, the 26th of next month. Well, I don't plan on getting COVID again, so won't need it. Yeah, this is the COVID-19 AG test kit for self-testing. This is what it looks like. Can also can't tell you how much it was because I didn't pay for it. But that's about it, you guys. If you guys enjoyed and have used any of these products before, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any advice on any of the products, any anything like that, please let me know, okay? I, t I listen to you guys, okay? I listen to you guys. So please let me know. Subscribe, click that notification bell if you enjoyed. Thumbs up the video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah!